Hello there guys, my name is Farai Singano and this is the Broadcasting Communication Project on the recruitment of international athletes participating in the United States. So the reason I decided to choose this project is because not a lot of people are aware of what really goes on in terms of how athletes cope in the United States. So I'm hoping this little background can enlighten you guys on what really goes on behind the scenes. First, would you like to state your name, age and university you attend? Charlie Rolls. 21 and I attend Tiffin University. I'm uh, Maxwell Joku, 22 and I attend Ohio State University. Alright guys, so last semester I proposed a research paper on the recruitment of international athletes participating in the United States. So I wanted to know a little bit of the background between what actually goes on in terms of athletes such as yourself. So what motivations, motivation, sorry, uh, persuaded you guys to attend the United States collegiate level? I um, well, I went on the soccer tour to Los Angeles okay. where we played against UCLA and I started asking questions to the players and I just like, was intrigued by the idea of being able to play full-time football and get a, a good degree as well on the site, or mainly for, for the degree first as well as playing a high level of soccer first and then come being able to broaden that even by playing pro out there or coming home and get a job and still be able to further my Career. Okay, so the information you just told me, was this told by coaches or it was something that the the program that you went to were uh, trying to provide to you? The coaches did speak to us about it and the process that they went through, like how they talked to players and approached them and then we bunched more off the players as they was like, a bit more open to talk about how they done it and then I just kind of fed off their idea and then joined an agency when I come back to England to be able to, to branch out. Okay, so you, you talked about an agency because I know that's like one of the main communication that coaches tend to use nowadays. Because I know from the research that I've done, they use agencies, they go on international tournaments, they use a number of things that they use in order to recruit athletes such as you. So tell me about the agency situation. Well, the agency was really like plain and simple. Like you just slightly pay for your trial, and then they will discuss with you whether you're good enough to get a certain scholarship and what your scholarship and how much it would be and then I would sign up to the agency completely and then I'd go and send in video footage of myself to play and then they would like deliver my uh, highlight tapes to different coaches that they know around the US and then the US coaches if they liked me would get back in touch with me via like email and they would set up a Skype, a Skype like date to uh, talk over the phone and if it if, like, turned into more and it developed, I would then face with them and then we would discuss it through there. Uh, fair enough, because I do know there's a number of agencies nowadays from the research that I've gathered on the recruitment process that agencies are kind of stealing athletes' money, selling, selling them dreams, telling them they're going to be playing against a number of crowds, telling them they're going to be going to big time universities, but then again, but athletes such as yourself might not be aware of the university that you're going. Did you ever go through this? process at all? Um, not really because I knew my agency was legit as they was affiliated with the FA which is a big government body in England so I knew they was trusted and I knew friends that went through them so I, I knew what I was getting myself into and they was always clear on what university I was going to and they would give me a background on the, on the university that contacted me so I, I felt I was in safe hands. Okay, fair enough Chuck. What about you Max? Um, so what was your main motivation to go to the United States? Um, well, obviously, at um, a young age, obviously, I played for West Ham and that. And then, um, obviously, um, I've got, uh, so I played for West Ham, um, obviously, I got released at a young age of 16. And then, um, while I was playing, um, there was a coach from America who came and um, he messaged my dad and he offered me the opportunity of coming to America and also playing at a good level and also getting a degree at the same time. So, that was really. Okay, so you played for West Ham for how long? Um, I was there when I was eight, so I released when I was sixteen. Okay, so that's a that's a yeah. fair long, very long time to yeah. be honest with you. So football's all you knew. Yeah. So in terms of a coach coming up to you and saying you want to carry on, obviously playing football that you love, but then again study as well. How did that make you feel? Um, obviously, all I know was football, so obviously it was difficult to also try and think that I can balance studies and football since I'm so passionate just about football. But. Um, mm -hmm. It was different, but obviously it was a new challenge for me. So obviously I really wanted to see how it would go. Obviously what he was telling me about the levels that they were playing were really high. And um, also that you can also get a degree at the same time. It kind of kills two birds with one stone. So that was really intriguing. Okay, so similar to Charlie over here. In terms of the communication, 
um, between the coach that was interested in you, he pursued you to go to the United States. What, what went around that? Did he email you? Did he personally contact you? And obviously, you're a kid. Did he go to your father in order to make it happen? Yeah, I was very young then, so um, he, he, he actually um, emailed my dad, and my dad just wanted to tell me about the opportunity. Uh, but then after a while, he told me about the opportunities that I have in America. We started emailing personally. And um, sometimes we'll Skype, most times it'll be by email and he'll tell me about certain schools, so stuff like that. Okay, so for both of you, from what I found out in my research is that email is the culture's favorite topic to use in terms of communicating to athletes such as you. But from a coach being from a different country, and obviously the time difference is by far large, did you find there was a problem in terms of, say for example, you send an email, it takes at least four or five hours for him to reply. So did you ever feel like there was a connection there? I never had a problem with the, uh, the communication, as normally when we'd email, it's almost like a text message so that we'd fire back and forth. So we'd always be like bouncing ideas off each other. And then if it was come to a serious topic, like with my transcripts to the NCA, we'd always like Skype just to make sure we got everything like, cleared up. And if I had any like doubts or problems, i will go back to my agency and then we had to clear it up and just make sure I understood it and like, I was in full contact with the uh, university while I was going through it. Right, fair enough. What about you, Max? Yeah, mine's exactly the same. Um, basically, uh, we used email mostly. Um, obviously, it was more important things like my transcripts or he just wanted to show me certain things that I needed to do. Right. He would use Skype as a main way of showing me face to face. Um, I never really had any troubles with it. Obviously, the time difference does play a part sometimes because you reply and then they'll wait four or five hours and they reply. And sometimes it can be very quick, depending. But I never had any troubles. If I did, I would normally go through my agency and I'll tell them about it and I'll normally fix it for you. Okay, so obviously I've already mentioned that there's a number of ways to be a part of the US collegiate level. So you guys have obviously been through the agency. Do you feel like that was the best option for you guys to use? Because I know nowadays you can do it by yourself and some people have succeeded by doing that. So do you feel like the agency is maybe a con because they're, they're offering you a large sum for them to create a profile for you, create a footage and sell yourself as a player when realistically you could do that yourself. So in your opinion, how do you feel about this, that situation? Um, I can agree with what you're saying, but knowing there was affiliate at BFA, I feel like they had a good number of contacts around that my footage would be seen by a number of coaches and high profile schools to find the right school for me. Like move, moving across the pond is a big, is a big move especially at that age, but I felt like I trusted them enough to find me the right school that would suit me, like how I play and find the right education for myself. So I trusted the agency. I think if I don't myself, I'll be a bit narrow-minded on where I try and choose, as I'd be a bit too picky, whereas I felt if I trusted someone else, it would broaden my mind on like, the searches and the regions that I choose. Um, so in terms of the agency, yeah. do you feel like you could have done it by yourself or you oh, feel like it's a con? Yeah, um, basically, um, I think the money that you pay for the agency might be more of a con because it's quite expensive, but obviously the agency have been doing their job for a long time. And obviously if you go through some agencies, like you see like their success stories and you see that people have made it to big colleges and big universities. But then again, you see people that make it on their own and have had the same, the same success. But I guess it just depends who you go through. It all depends what kind of school you end up at. So I guess it kind of goes both ways. You can make it on your own or you can make it with an agency. All right, fair enough. Lastly, do you have any regrets about going to the United States in terms of where you are today? Well, personally, I wouldn't say I don't have any regrets. As I feel like it's a good school. It took a little time getting used to it. It's a completely different like, culture around the place as I'm in the country, whereas when I'm in England, I'm around the, the city almost. But, um, but regarding the area, I wouldn't say I have any regrets. It took time, like I said, getting used in the heat, but I can't say I have any regrets on it. What about you, Max? Um, I honestly don't have no regrets. It's been a great opportunity to go to America, obviously. Um, it's been, well, I think it's a great opportunity just because I've got to see different cultures and I've got to experience a different, I guess, the American lifestyle, I guess. So I don't have any regrets going out to America at all. All right, guys. Well, I really appreciate your time. And I know you guys are leaving this week now, if I'm correct. Yeah, so, I'm leaving this Friday, yeah. Um, all the best with your education and obviously your football inside of things and hopefully catching the other side. Cheers, Thank you very much, man.